welcome back to another video. Um, today we're exploring. Do you hear that scratching? Yeah, I just meant that. Weird. Um, today we are exploring somewhere kind of cool, kind of special, somewhere that I've wanted to go for a very long time. We are at the Casadega Hotel. And, um, Psychic capital of the world. Yeah, you tell them, James. <laughs> We're gonna start with a nice little stroll. <laughs> stroll down the road. Um, check out all the psychic houses. Yeah, we're gonna check out all the psychic houses, see if we like run into any of them. Maybe they'll call for us. Ooh. Chelsea, <laughs> not come here. No. <laughs> no, I like psychics. I think it'd be really cool to run into them, but like, can you just imagine them calling to you from the dark? Like, <laughs> Alright you guys, we're going to go on a little walk and it's going to be interesting. Hi! <laughs> oh my god! Get Jesus. away from me! <laughs> So we're outside. There's a bunch of houses on this road that have psychics living in them. And when James was here last time, he said he felt people watching him or just like eyes on him or something like that. I felt like something was with me. Like it was so weird. Yeah, he's, he said he felt like something was with him and that's kind of how I feel now. It's kind of freaking me out. Yeah. I went down to the little garden and that was nice for like two minutes. And then I came back up here and we started hearing noises and I'm just gonna keep walking and see if we see anything. And this lady was telling us about this temple that's down here that I've never seen before. So we may do a few EVPs, but let's go take this little crazy walk down the street. Spooky. <laughs> The temple. Yeah, we need to go check Oh, out we this gotta temple. go there. What? So, what if we heard somebody be like, hey, Chelsea, come here, I have some psychic information for you? <laughs> hey. I'd be freaked out. Look at all these chairs. Do you see that? I don't know. They're all lined up in like a row. I'm not, I don't know, it's kind of weird. all the decorations in the house. There's like random cats just like walking around. Charlie. I have a question, James. So you, you came, you came all the way down here mm -hmm. to the psychic capital of the world mm -hmm. to play Pokemon Go? When did I play Pokemon Go? You're such a liar, you just told me. I don't play Pokemon Go. Oh my God, oh, are you yes, serious? Come on, baby. Three clicks. One, two. Oh, I got no Pokemon. Oh, I can't even. I'm going home. <laughs> Bye. You're on your own. I play Pokemon Go every day. I play Pokemon Go. Thank you guys. I have a sign for mediumship and spiritualist. In case you didn't know, I learned today that those are two different things. There's psychic mediums and then spiritual. Mm, see, I want to. Oh, Buddha. What is this? This. Um, is that the temple? Is this the temple? Obi Memorial Temple. Yeah. This. That's the temple. So, what is this? All right, you guys. So, found the temple. Oh my God, that was just. That was James. <laughs> You guys, this place is really spooky. While you're walking down the road, you really feel like somebody's like looking at you or following you. But we found the temple. Now, 
I thought the building back here was the temple. I thought it was just like this little thing. No, this building is the temple. This over here, no idea what it is, but I want to know. <laughs> Something else I noticed was that there's a lot of cats just like randomly roaming around here. Just cute little kitties, just casually walking around. But it is a little spooky to just walk down the road in the psychic capital of the world. But you're walking down the road and you just see a black cat just like casually stroll by. What is that behind you? <laughs> guys, by the way, let me know what you guys think of Chelsea's camera setup. So Chelsea over here um, is using this big old contraption of a camera. So I was just reading about the hotel here, a little bit more information. Casadega is no ordinary place. You wouldn't know it from the quiet streets this morning. But this small community attracts thousands of visitors a year and it has been dubbed the psychic capital of the world. The story of the Casadega is strange and shouted in mystery. Its unusual beginnings all started with a small boy baptized in the frigid waters in Minnesota. There's many reasons why the Casadega Hotel is considered to be one of the most popular haunted places in all of Florida, which provides a location for individuals to reside that are part of the spiritual movement. Just a few hundred individuals reside in the small community, but it's believed that several hundred others have passed on from the life to the next and are drawn to this community in spiritual form. This is especially true when it comes to the Casadega Hotel. In some cases, individuals have felt presence of someone near them when in fact they were completely alone. At times, strange and unusual occurrences have been experienced. Many have discovered items moving within their room, objects being abnormally moved, such as flickering lights, and even according to the locals, the spirits at the Casadego Hotel are more likely previously individuals that resided within the community as the hotel has hosted a lot of activities since the doors have opened. The spirits seem to welcome the ambience of the hotel. The ghosts seem to be playful and welcoming, Casadego Hotel presents itself as a spiritual retreat and a haven for those seeking higher counsel and spiritual healing. All right, so what do you think about doing some EVPs right here in front of the uh, temple? I think it's a good idea. Do that? Hi. It's me again. Did you hear that? Wow. Was it, it's me again? Because I heard Who? you beat it, kid. <laughs> How many spirits are with us right now? Can you give us a number? Seven? I think it said seven. Do you like it here? Whoa. How was... What is your name? Mm. It said Lisa. Yeah, it sounded like Lisa. I was gonna see if she needed any help with anything. Cause that was amazing. Like you helped that those spirits go to the light at that one cemetery. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah, that was we amazing. need to do more right. things like that. We should do that every time. Yeah, we should do that every time, yeah, I agree. Yeah. If they want to, you yeah. know. Should we ask them why they're still here then? Said we are. Said welcome. Do you have any loved ones in any state? If you can tell us a state, we might be able to help get in contact with your loved ones and tell them how much you miss them. Nebraska. Oh, almost like I said Nebraska. You know what's amazing? When our fans listen back to this later, it's like so many things made sense. Mm -hmm. And we just can't hear them. No, we can't hear it, yeah. We want to thank you very much for talking with us. We understand it can be frustrating because we don't really understand everything that you may be saying. However, we will go back and listen to this and we are going to have a lot of people go back and listen to this. And we, we want to help you. Is there anything we can do to help you? Did you hear that person? He's like, woo! He gave me beatbox. <laughs> That's what I'd be like. Thank you for talking with us. We're gonna get going now, okay? So, when we first got to the Casadega Hotel, I had a psychic reading, and it was with 
Darlene, Doreen, something like that. I can't remember her name, but she was amazing. She was very sweet and kind. And the psychic reading was so accurate. And I just got done telling James about it in this clip I'm about to show you. Elsie and I just leaving our rooms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, she just did a psychic reading and oh, yeah. it was pretty crazy. I mean, it was, was it pretty spot on? Like you were saying, like. It was the most accurate thing that's ever happened to me. That is crazy. It was weird. I wrote everything down. I'm going to talk about it. And I, I might, I don't know, because it was so accurate that it was. I crazy. actually think that's the same lady that did Patty's reading. Now, Patty has had several readings at the Casadega Hotel, and every single one she has said is so accurate. So, we're going to give her a call. We're going to tell her about my reading and compare it with hers. I'm very curious to see what she's going to say. I also wrote everything down from the reading to see if certain things do come true, but I would definitely recommend going there and getting a psychic reading because I hear that everyone there is really good at it. Who are we calling? Patty. You guys were calling Patty. Hey James, how you doing? Hey, good, how are you? Hi. Hi Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> so, how you doing? Good, how are you, Patty? I'm doing pretty good. Seeing you in a while. I'd love to get together and do another video sometime. Yeah, let's do it. You gotta come yeah. down to South Florida soon. We got so much stuff waiting for you down there. The Casadega Hotel. Yeah, we're at the yeah. Casadega Hotel. Actually, Chelsea had a psychic greeting today. But she was like, it's spot on, like, really. Like, even stuff that I've been telling her. Like, Chelsea wow. thought Chelsea thought that I was talking to the lady. She's like, you sure you didn't talk to her? I'm like, no. I never met that lady in my life. I'm telling you, they're awesome psychic mediums there. They really are. They know there's every reading I've ever got there is so unbelievably accurate. Now, when you got your psychic reading, um, did she, like, tell you a lot about you and all that stuff? A little bit, yeah, and and like you know, she told me that there was uh, my son was with me and, and all that, and she was immediately picked up on that and said that was all kinds of stuff. I don't even remember. Like my house is getting built; it was supposed to be done in January. Oh, I remember. Oh my God, remember I remember that. that. It's not gonna. Oh my God, in and your house is, but your house. Oh, that's before you even got a house, Patty. Yes. That's he said, well, it's not going to be ready till probably, you're not going to move in that house till April. Well, th at this time, when I saw him this last time, and she told me that, I'm like, April? It's supposed to be ready in January. Well, I'll be, because I don't have a bunch of holdups now, and it won't be re ready till either March or April. <gasps> what the? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm That's dying crazy. to tell her when I see her again, you were right. <laughs> hey, this was like I'm, five or six months ago. I'm, Do you know any, um, like, history of the haunting type stuff here? Yeah, really? there's a man that hangs around the bar area. Um, I oh, I remember that guy. Name. I was here that day. I remember that guy. You're that right, older right, gentleman. Right. Yeah. Yeah, an older gentleman. And then up in that room that we, me and you and Marie and Omar stayed in, there's a guy that hung himself in that room. Oh, that's right. Do you yeah, remember like what room it was? Do you remember what room it was? I think it was? it was room 30 at the very end of the hall upstairs. Okay, we're going to check that out. You guys, even as we're walking, we've seen like endless amounts of cars and people just walking by. I'll insert some clips here just so you can see what I'm talking about. But I keep expecting like... When me and James left the hotel, we looked at each other and we were like, what if someone comes up to us and knows our <laughs> name or like just has like some information out of nowhere to tell us? So every time I see someone drive by or walk by, I'm like, they're going to tell us something. <laughs> they never do though. <laughs> but I don't know. Keeps you on your toes, you know? What's that? What? You're trespassing. It's private. What does he mean we're trespassing? What do we do? 